Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss King's World and today I'm going to be talking about 10 things that can help you with your spiritual journey and your spiritual awakening, especially as a beginner. These are things that really helped me with my journey. So I think it's important just to say that everyone's spiritual journey is different and it does take time and patience and practice just to really get into the hang of things and for things to start working for you. So don't be discouraged if you're doing things and you're not really finding it working out. You just need to figure out what works for you and then kind of roll with it. So that's essentially what I've been doing. And like I said, these are some things that helped me. So in no particular order, I will just talk about them. So the first thing that I think did amazing wonders for me is just clearing my aura and my environment. So I do like to sage a lot. For me personally, I just feel like, especially when your space is negative or you had bad vibes or you're in a new house, I love to sage out any bad energy that could be around or just even my journals, my crystals. I focus on these things to kind of help me get through. I like to clear and sage the environment. I think that's so important. So if you are starting your spiritual journey, I would definitely recommend getting some sage. That is just number one. The second thing that helped me a lot was kind of changing up my habits and changing up my eating habits a little bit, trying to not eat things that I know that my body doesn't agree with. So dairy, <laughs> dairy, okay, I had a difficult time giving up dairy. I still do eat it, but I do not consume it as much as I used to. I'm trying to cleanse myself from things that clearly my body doesn't agree with. So kind of taking that more serious, I think really did help. Treat your body like a temple and it will help you mentally and physically feel better if your body feels better. It's so simple, but I think it just helps when you're on this journey. The next thing that I think is really important is self-care and I scream it in every video and I will continue to talk about self-care until I am black and blue in the face. It is so important to take care of yourself, to wash your hair, to lotion your body, to just enjoy and love yourself. So definitely Take time out of your day, out of your week to pamper yourself. You don't have to do anything extravagant or lavish. A little face mask, making sure you stay hydrated. Treat your body like a temple and it will reward you. You're wondering why certain things just aren't really going right for you. It's because you're not taking the time to appreciate your body and the same way you would treat your car or your room or you know, putting those extra times into the things that you love, you need to do that for yourself as well. So self-care is very, very, very important. Another thing that I think really helped me is spiritual baths. I will link my video on my spiritual bath down below and up above as well. But spiritual baths are different than regular baths. Regular baths, you put the bubbles, you go in, cool, you soak. Spiritual baths, you set intentions before you go into your bath and you use it as a time of reset. So whenever I take a spiritual bath, it's usually around the full moon, the new moon, and I bring out my crystals and I light my candles and my incense and I play my sound bath music and I practice my breathing and that's actually where I got my revelation that I had in my last video. So I definitely think this is something you should incorporate in your routine if you are trying to go on a spiritual journey. When I'm in the bath, it just allows me to almost be baptized every single time. Anything that I have done that I just don't really enjoy, any negativity, anything that I'm harvesting or holding onto, I feel like it all goes down the drain when I leave that bath. So 
I would definitely try to incorporate this. Another thing that I think really helped, I don't know what numbers we're on, but I'm just gonna go with the flow, is meditation. Meditation is really hard. I still have a hard time doing it, but I just like to breathe and listen to certain music and try to clear my mind and focus on just positivity and love and trying to think about my manifestations that I want to happen and just kind of focus on that when I meditate. I know some people say you're not supposed to focus on anything, but for me that's a little bit difficult. I I don't know. I I alternate between the two, trying to focus on constructing myself in like letting it come to me kind of thing and then another one is kind of clearing my mind and just letting everything go and you are supposed to try to do this every day I probably do it every few days and then I try to do yoga in between to kind of add to it so meditation definitely helped but I don't think it was the most effective for me but I will still continue to try to do it because I hear it's really helpful it's just hard one of the things that I think really 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 helped me was journaling I love journaling I have always loved journaling and everyone goes about it differently I don't really reread my journals to be honest I just write 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 whatever I want whatever comes to my head if anything's on my chest instead of talking to people I've learned to just journal it out and let it go and that's it and I feel a lot better and a lot lighter so if you're a person that doesn't like to talk to people and burden people with your problems and that's pretty much how I am I just journal it out and then that's it and sometimes my journal sounds like poetry sometimes it just sounds like I am venting other times it's me trying to manifest so yeah journaling is super helpful so I definitely recommend that going on journaling but is slightly different is affirmations and manifestations so affirmations essentially are just writing things down that will refocus your brain to be a little bit more positive i know it's really easy for dark thoughts or just negative thoughts to come back in but just saying things like i am worthy I deserve this, my life is amazing, my body is amazing, is healthy, I attract money, I attract positivity, I attract positive vibes and frequency. Saying stuff like that to yourself or even writing stuff down is important just to teach the universe how to love you and how you should be treated. So the more you talk about it or write it and put it into the air is the more it will come back to you and I think it's really helped me just kind of speaking out loud and putting that into the universe I do find that it has come back to me so you know hopefully we're just gonna continue going on that and we will see good things come true in the near future like this video going super viral and I just get thousand followers out of nowhere <laughs> and I could be entered into my YouTube monetization that would be great but with that I think affirmations kind of turns into manifestation so that kind of goes hand in hand I like to have a journal that I specifically write my manifestations and instead of writing it like I want it to come to me I write in a sense where I already have it and I'm just claiming it so instead of writing I hope to have a car soon I would say thank you God for my car and be specific about the car and be specific about what you want down to the details visualize it picture it put in the work to get it it will come to you and it will happen but you have to really truly believe you can't half-ass it you really got to feel yourself in the car picture yourself in the car all those things do help 
So another thing kind of goes along with everything else but is slightly different is praying. And that's something that I never really used to do back in the day but I've definitely incorporated it over the last few years and I feel like it's definitely helped me just see things a lot more clear than I used to see things and what I do personally is you don't have to pray to a god but I just pray to the universe but I do pray to god and my ancestors as well just for clarity. I just ask for clarity, I ask for guidance, I ask for reassurance essentially if I am on the right path, if I'm doing the right thing, if this person in my life right now is right for me or they're not. And I also express my gratitude as well just for even waking up in the morning because a lot of people don't wake up, a lot of people don't have a house or food to eat so I express my gratitude as well as just ask for clarity and I have found that a lot of the times I actually have gotten a lot of clarity whether it's my gut instinct or whether it's come to me in a dream which I stopped dreaming for a very long time and this is something that has come back to me as of recent I dream very vividly now pray and ask for guidance it's just as simple as that and it definitely does help. This is very niche but I have crystals that I definitely do love and I think my crystals really do help. I'm super into my crystals and I have different crystals for different things so if you are interested in my crystals let me know. I will do a whole video on my crystals but I like having certain crystals for certain things that I usually like to hold or play with. I don't like when people touch them because then they transfer their energy onto my crystals which I'm not too happy about that I have to sage them but crystals definitely do help when you're doing your spiritual journey or when you're doing your journaling. I feel like they just add a little extra oomph to you know your affirmations, your meditation, everything. So Get yourself some crystals, do some research, and figure out which ones help and which ones are relevant to what you want and what you need, and then take it from there. And lastly, being in nature is very important. So easy, so simple, but it's something that we overlook a lot of the times because we're so used to being on our phone, in our rooms, in our house, but go outside. Turn off your phone or just listen to some calming music. Don't listen to anything that is just... Okay, I don't want to be a hypocrite and say don't listen to anything that invokes like violence and just so thotty this, just whatever. Switch it up sometimes. Not everyday violence. Not every day needs to be eh, 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 making the stallion that shit. Like, not every day needs to be about that. Sometimes it is good to listen to a podcast. Sometimes it's good to just listen to chill music and go outside and feel the sun on your face, okay? If you have grass, take off your shoes, walk in the grass, sit down, just be outside. And yes, I hate outside sometimes because I have allergies and the bees and the bugs and all these things that I really don't want to deal with but I still deal with it anyways because I know that having fresh air in my lungs and the sun on my face will help you boost your um is it vitamin d i think it's vitamin d either way it helps with your brain and your brain development and get some oxygen switch it up don't be so stuck in your routine especially if you are feeling depressed go outside yes you cannot go everywhere you want to go you know not every day you need to be constantly stimulated with stuff sometimes it's good to take a break and just take a breather a small little breather, an hour a day, half an hour a day, trust me, it makes a world of difference when you're not constantly talking the phone, watching TV, listening to music that is literally deteriorating your brain, and just doing things that you don't want to do. Sometimes it's good to just take a nap and just relax. So yeah, those are essentially some things 
that have helped me with my spiritual journey. Like I said, it took me about seven months to get to this place that I am now where I actually feel comfortable and content and I do feel the self-love and I have worked hard to get here. It is not for the weak. If everyone could do it, then everyone would be spiritually enlightened and the world would not be the way it is. But that's just not, that's just not life. So yeah, if you are in a dark place or even a place where you just want to be to your next self you want to level up and be a better version of you i would definitely recommend trying a few of these things and if they did work for you or you have a story let me know down in the comment section below or follow my social media links and i will see you guys for another video so my beautiful people stay blessed and i will see you soon Bye.